There is our man, Isaac Newton. Uh, do I have a university popping out in a city? Eight turns there. That's a fair amount of... Uh, I, don't have, I don't have a ton of universities yet. I have some. Oh, you know what? Here. There you go. There you go. Library University right there. Uh, you do remember to build the market and bank, right? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I did. I remembered. Got me nervous there for a second, but I remembered. I remember. <laughs> what? Who's wearing the pants? Alright, so we need to get guys ready to start chopping out this. You can go that way as well. This guy can come this way. Um... Research lab. Let's grab a builder. This is the internet. Nobody wears pants. <laughs> Somehow I feel like the show's telling the truth. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Probably telling the truth. Hey, Josh. Thank you very much, buddy. Pog champs in the bucket. 300 biddies. Thank you, Josh. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? <laughs> More biddies! Thank you, Josh. Pog Champ filling her up. I just realized that I was like one turn away from doing the circumnavigate with the unit that was here, and I lost those units. Oh, finally. I lost those units because uh, the um, the suzerain was up, and so I'm literally like one turn away still from. I need to get in the water and finish that. More bitte? Yes, sir. Josh knows what's up. Okay. Um.
Ian McDermott? Diarmid? I don't know Ian McDiarmid. It's an outstanding landing. I don't know who that is. Uh... Um, I have to turn on the Patala Palace. Like that. Do those chops. Go back to the research lab. Actually, you know what? No, I'll do that. I'm going to just let the Patala Palace run out. Because I need a couple more turns on top of the chops I have here, I think. Uh, I think I'll get out to this jungle as well. So jungle, jungle, tree. That should get me there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Should get me there pretty soon. So, now I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do that. I want the theater square where I'm standing, and Josh, racking him up again. That's going to be a Pog Champ Cup right there. Thank you, Josh. Oh, the guy who did Palpatine. Oh, okay. Ian McDiarmid. Okay. Distant relation, maybe. So I like this. Um, this is Theater Square here. This is Forbidden City here. This is the campus there. Uh, plus three campus there. It actually would be a plus four campus there if I kept the uh, jungles, but I'm not going to keep the jungles, so that doesn't matter. Um, and that actually adds another th theater square as well, so that makes it a plus three theater square. Can we pop ten here yet? No, not yet. Damn it. Alright, so you can't mine... Alright, that's... That sucks. I was thinking that you could mine those because it added production, but it doesn't. Okay, let's just go to the... Uh... Uh, you know what I'm going to do up here? I'm going to buy that settler. Go settle that city. Should have done that five turns ago. Uh, Reina, my baby, what's going on? We need one more, one more promotion there. Do 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 do. Fail? What failed? Did, I didn't see. Did they were jumping all over? Um, that looks like Forbidden City. It is. Okay. Um. So I have to make sure I get my acting gear here and do this right. Um. I need to chop this into the monument. and start Forbidden City, put Magnus in here, chop the deer, the tree, the stone, the jungle, whatever it takes. I'm going to have to really rock Forbidden City quick here. Five 
turns. Okay. I'm still denounced by him? Okay. Ha! Library, university, and plus two science per. So you understand why Palpatine became a xenophobe. He fails. Oh, he hails from the same planet as a bunch of jive talking reptiles. Uh, joint war with Tamar. I do not like that idea. Um, but. I will fund your horse desires. It's the industrial revolution. Um <laughs> all things stay. Stay gold per turn. Uh, our gold per envoys is pretty good. When I have more spies, I might crank that up. Uh, hopefully, here shortly we'll be able to have two of those things, so it won't matter. Uh, here and chop. Here and chop. This would be pretty close to done on the next chop. Um, 16 and 9 there. Oh wow, this guy's got no housing. This guy doesn't even have a granary? Um... Screw it. Am I losing to Rome yet? How you doing, Harley? Never. The treasurer Binks is your neighbor. Uh, genocide starts to look up. I don't know if I agree with that. Uh, let's see. Um, my district planning in my capital was terrible. Is this Dota? Uh, Jar Speaking of Jar Jar Binks. Uh, uh, no, this is um, Matthias Corvinus of Hungary. I don't agree with it at all. I think you've lost your mind.
You know the actor behind Jar Jar Binks contemplated suicide after the reaction to his role? Hey, is that true, Iron Bun? Wow. That's pretty crazy. And you know what's funny? I mean, obviously it was it was kind of an annoying character, but not really the fault of the actor. Um but I actually especially uh Phantom I loved it. I really enjoyed it. I've watched the movie a lot cuz I enjoyed it that much. Oh, yeah, baby. Give me them toys. Give me them toys, bro. I need to make deals for luxuries that don't cost me an arm and a leg. Like, I don't... I Here's the problem. Is that I need to start selling my luxuries. Instead of taking the cheap deal and selling my luxuries for 10 gold a turn... I need to start selling my luxuries for the most I can get for them because they're charging the same thing back the other way. And it's killing me because I can't get a luxury for a decent price. I have all the luxuries that he has. Diamonds and wine I don't think I'm getting anymore, but he's going to charge me a fortune too. Oh, I am still getting his diamonds and wines. I am still getting that deal. Thank God. Uh, and here we see a grown man defend Jar Jar Binks, then have a fit over toys. You loved, I, lo I thought the Phantom Mess was great. I really did. I thought Phantom Mess was a lot of fun. Yeah, there you go. Two. There's two votes for Phantom Menace. Boom. Your roommate stated you sounded like a character on a show, so maybe you can do some voice acting too. Hey, Iron Bun's roommate. You can be my agent if you want. I actually don't mind the idea of some doing voiceover. I have no idea how I would even get started, but I think it'd be cool. I don't know. Could I make it work? I don't know. Phantom Menace wasn't bad. It wasn't my favorite, but in general, I liked the uh, the prequels a lot. You liked the prequels a lot, really? So, I um, I thought Phantom Menace was great. The other two I didn't mind, but I didn't like as much. The third I thought was eh. The third I would say actually was kind of male on it for sure. But I need to get a frickin' builder up there to mine the frickin'... Verbal contract accepted! <laughs> hey man, you start getting me work, I'll give you 5%. No problem. Killing off Darth Maul in the first episode? His character would've been pretty cool. Two was actually not bad as well. Um, there was some cool moments in two, I thought. 5% seems a bit low. I mean... Maybe, maybe I could bump it to 10% on contracts that are big enough. It, it depends on how big the contract gets, so... Hayden Christian was too much to overcome. He wasn't the greatest for that role, I'll admit. I'm actually a Hayden Christensen fan. I, something about him, I actually like him as a guy. I feel like he'd be a great guy. I actually just watched a movie a couple weekends ago called Little Italy that just came out. 
and it's got Julia Roberts' niece in it. And uh, it's actually a really cool movie, and I like him in it a lot. But I feel like maybe he just didn't fit the role. Um, and you know the thing, too, about it is as well? Is that I think that he wasn't done any favors by the character itself. Because I feel like the character was written as a whiny little bitch. <laughs> um, unfortunately... If you know what I mean, I just feel like the character was just written super duper whiny. And so it's kind of like he just kind of had like he just it was all about throwing tensor tantrums until the point where he was so angry that he could justify killing little children. Right? So then it was like what are you going to do? <laughs> Darth Vader, exactly. Darth Vader was a whiny little bitch as a kid. Who would have guessed? Who'd have thunk, eh? Who'd have thunk that Darth Vader was hard done by as a child? I have no idea. Oh, well, there goes St. Basil's. Any dream of that? I'll be honest with you, now I'm not sure. I was thinking that maybe I could squeeze out a St. Basil's in here. But without that... Well, I guess I... You know what? No, it's still worth it. Because at the very least... Um, I eat all the gold for... Or I eat all the copper for gold. But St. Basil's would have made a big difference in this city for sure. Um, I think what I do is I grind out a campus here. Uh, across the river is going to make it look really good. And then I can chop out um, a Munson Scott. And that's really the only purpose of that city, other than the gold. Radio will be done by the weekend. We got the pop 10. Uh, I need to repair that mine. Maybe mine some of this stuff. I need to mine that because that's not fixed yet. I need truffles, right? Yeah, I need truffles, so I need to make that deal. And then, uh... You don't have anything I need. I think I'm getting... Am I getting spices? Diamond aren't worth anything at the moment. I am getting spices. Sugar. I think sugar I need. No, I don't need sugar. Am I getting sugar from... I must be getting sugar from a... Uh... God. I must be getting sugar from a city state.
Okay. Um, that's disappointing. I thought that was going to take that down to like three. Right. Well, I got no choice but to get you moved to there. Actually, you know what? Mm. I might actually buy this tile and eat some population. Yeah, I'm going to go there and eat some population. I should have done that. Could have it. So working more tiles. G'day, Moondoggy. Sorry, I'm missing some of the Star Wars conversation here, guys, but I'm trying to stay focused on the game a little bit. If you look at the Binks' eyes, you'll see he was <laughs> the truth. Uh, Jaw Jaw Binks was is is the showrunner. Great. Doesn't want iron. Do you want horses? Go make yourself an army to fight with, my lady. How about niter? You want niter? Niter's super powerful. You know you want. Oh shoot! Hit the wrong button. You know you want niter in your life, girl. Yeah. Now I'll pay you. For your open borders, which is absurd, but I'll do it. <laughs> because it takes them to forty and even forty horses, they're willing to pay a ridiculous sum. It's hilarious. Oh, I'll take that. That's fine. That's about three gold a turn, equivalent. Um. I better give Niter to everybody, right? That way it's a fair fight on that continent. Who else wants Niter? I better give Niter to you, because... Uh-oh. You don't have much. 112 gold? What? All right, because you're my ally, I'll let you have it. Emotions. Clearly. <laughs> the reproductive advantage. Niter in your life. Worst time on the 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 Jedi can't have that's Is that legit? They're not, wait. Is that, they're not actually physically allowed to have sex? Is that true? Is that like... World's first circumnavigate worth six because of Taj. Oh my god, it's impossible not to get Golden Ages once you have Taj. 